Hello y'all, this is Brushfire Wind Dragon, and welcome to World of Warcraft. Uh, this week I decided to do something a little different, and now that we uh, are able to get the Volbear and the Mechanome, so I decided I was going to record that too. Uh, I can't get the Mechanomes yet because nobody will run me through the dungeon, but I can still do um, I'm the Volbear here. G Firepaw, I like this guy. Kitty Hawk, I received word that a Volpera caravan has arrived at Kamash Hold. They wish to address the Horde and have requested your presence. I'm afraid it is not the best time for guests, so please see them as soon as you are able. Okay. Oh yeah, the new throne room, okay. I guess I'll just go with Spike. He's cute. Our vintner refuses to work with the staff you have provided. Suldizar requires additional forces along the coast. Work at the outpost has halted. How should we proceed? Huh. Bane's doing his best, but <laughs> it seems things have come to a halt. I'm glad you've come, Kitty Hawk. You should be the first to hear what we have to say. Our caravan is ready to explore the world beyond the sands, but Nisha's blade can't be our only defense against the dangers we know await us. This is why we've come, to declare our intent to join the Horde. High Chieftain Bloodhoof, I am Kiro, and I speak for the Volpera of Boldoon. We seek to join the Horde. Long have we survived amidst the sands, without a thought of what lies beyond them. But the Horde has shown us that there is more to life than mere survival. If you will have us, we would explore the world by your side. Though I am honored by your request to join us, I am afraid that I must decline. Meeting the needs of our current allies has stretched the Horde thin. It would be unwise for us to take your people under our wing. But please, enjoy the hospitality of Orgrimmar as our guests. Horde or not, the Volpera will always be welcome here. I understand. Thank you for your time, High Chieftain. Hmm. There has to be something we can do. I am disappointed by his answer, but not dis surprised. Our strength is often overlooked. We gotta do something to help Bane. Bane certainly has his hands full. Taking on new allies means taking on new problems. Let us find out what troubles those within the Horde, and see what we can do to help. Perhaps when Bane isn't so overwhelmed, he'll be able to see our true value. So it must be these guys. Okay, Dresh. From Khan. Bane must act before things get worse. The Crush Blow Outpost was undergoing construction, but the peons suddenly vanished. I need them to get back to work. They're probably in danger. We have to go rescue them. Speak your business. We must all do your part. The Naga have been advancing on Zuldizar's shores. We must push them back before they pose a greater threat. Ah, oh, those dang Naga. Aran Arcana. The Nightborn are truly free. We no longer need the white Nightwell nor its power. We can forge our own destiny. Bane sent assistants to Soromar to aid with our Arcwine production, but managing them has proven difficult. Well, it depends on what he sent. Are these just... Uh, oh, okay. These are just low-level quests. I... Have you come to trade? Good work, Kitty Hawk. Sometimes others just want to be heard. These problems might seem small, but they will eat away at the horde over time if they remain unaddressed. We must offer our help. We'll pair our skill at solving problems no matter their size. I will investi investigate the outpost. Nisha and Mira will see to the others. Meet me in the Twilight Highlands when you're ready. Okay. Nisha. Head for Zuldazar and do what you do best. Those Naga won't know what hit him. <laughs> Mira, can you sort things out with the Vintner and Soromar? You got it, Kiro. Good. 
Let's get to work. Okay, it looks like uh we're doing Twilight Highlands first. Or is that just getting to uh okay, okay Twilight Hi Highlands, that must be where the uh uh, the orcs building the, uh, outpost star. Oh, hi, Georgia! Hello! What's wrong? Now, this isn't the right place. Hello, Georgia! What is it? Oh, I can't snuggle with you right now. I'm playing a game! You can. Your toilet highlands. <laughs> okay, here we are. I'm still that turn off. Hero. Speak freely. Abandoned. Just like Commander Dresch said. Look at this axe, Kitty Hawk. There's still sweat on the hilt. The workers were here not too long ago. Let's see if Sasha can track their scent. Hold on a second. Are you hungry, sweetie? She wanted the goosey foods. Let's get moving. The peons can't be far. Hey, okay, I'm. Oh. I was gonna say I was following you, Kiro, but it seems you're. There we go. <laughs> Go, Sasha, go! She is a pretty hyena. Sasha's snout says this is the place. Maybe they're in one of these houses. Huh. Head inside and check things out. I'll keep watch. Okay. You on hideout. Okay, I chose this one. Throw down your tools and raise up your fists! What's this? Someone from Orgrimmar? Are you finally ready to hear our demands? Sure, what's the matter, guys? What do you want? Me no take orders from the Horde. Tools broken. Had to use hands, now they break too. What's going on, big guy? What do you want? We're done here. Okay. Hmm? Peons treated like the poop. Never get nothing nice. Yes. When I'm war chief, peons will be respected members of the horde. Ah, oh, great. Well, I doubt McGrock's gonna get to be the war chief, but you know, peons do need to be treated better. What have you brought? Peons are revolting. I'm surprised it took this long. Okay. We'll do whatever we can to boost morale. It sounds like the peons are feeling undervalued. They do their work for the port, but their diligence is often overlooked. A little goodwill will go a long way. Let's plan a feast in their honor. And we've quite a bit of meat to sink their enormous appetites. Luckily, I have a totem that can help with that. You acquire the ingredients, and I will make a meal guaranteed to boost morale. Saber flanks, warg meat, and clucker tidbits. Okay. Worthwhile repairs. Peon's are right. These two tools are inexcusable. How can they ex be expected to complete a job without the proper tools of their trade? I can make the needed repairs, but I need some ore first. Twilight ore. I worry about using the twilight ore, though. I agree with the plight of the peons. They should be rewarded for the work they do. It's unlikely that the Horde will agree to increase their wages, but there's no reason they can't be given a promotion. Any title other than peon would help build confidence. Oh. We have to do what we can to appease the peons. Hmm. Should I go hand out promotions right now? Uh, you you got a miner's helmet. Something to do <laughs> Okay, job well done. You've improved peon rank too. It's mean. Need a boss? Uh, 
Oh yeah, you got spiky hair. Yes. Uh, good work. You've been promoted to senior peon. Uh, this guy's ball. Something you're doing? Congratulations, you've been promoted to lead peon. Be so important now. <laughs> Hey, okay. let's go f get the ore and the meat, and then I'll turn all the quests in at once. Oh, oh, here's okay. Twilight ore. This ore can be used in weapon crafting by skilled smiths. Hey, hey, you! Fight me! You got really big, but I mean, I kind of expected that. That's all 100, good. So, now I only need the ward and cluckers. Oh, here's the cluckers. Excuse those things. Uh, 12. 15, there we go. Okay. That's all the clucker tidbits, now I just need the wargs. Clucker tidbits, mostly the best bits. Paper flank, tender and marbled with fat. Well, they're already pretty big, are they going to get bigger? Yes! Oh gosh, they're dying. 93 word meat, almost there. Ah, there we go, all 100. Have you come to trade? A little goodwill. Did you bring the meat? We'll be eating well tonight, Kitty Hawk. Have you found any ore? I can work with this. I am sure your praise means a lot to the peons. I think I have everything needed to make it tonight a success. We just need to make sure the peons show up. Tell their leader that the horde is throwing a party in their honor. I'm sure they won't decline a night of free food and drink. Okay? I'll make my way back to Crush Blow and uh, get things cooking. Okay. Good luck. Oh! They actually have the titles! There's Lead Crush Blow Peon, Senior Cl Crush Blow Peon, and Crush Blow Peon Night 2. Have something to say? You'll oh, hear that? Wait while you can. The Horde's finally listening to us! Party back at Crush Blow! Let's go! Like, somebody has to do that sort of work. But the way the peons treat it is just not fair. Now, the, the audio from here on out, um, it just became more and more corrupted for no apparent reason <laughs> it's a success wouldn't you say we need the third parties for them mar those peons certainly look happy don't they i have no doubt they'll return to work in the morning however if their leader goes unchallenged there will always be the risk of revolt you need to face him in battle show him the true strength of the horde but also the honor that comes with showing mercy uh, Kitty Hawk versus McGrock. Have something to say. Oh, so you know, don't you? <laughs> this is how things get done, Kitty Hawk. If you want something, you have to demand it. I challenge you to battle. You challenge the future war chief of the horde? I'll cut you down to size! <laughs> Such a good boy. My dear little turtle bear. All right, I give. You gonna behave no now? Peons did need help, but Margaret went about it in a weird way. What have you brought? As the peons would say, job's done. I'll stick around here a bit longer to ensure the peons get back to work. 
He should return to Orgrimmar and let Commander Dress know that he does not need to fret about the outpost any longer. We go where the saddest take us. Okay. I got all the way back to Orgrimmar, but... You know what? I didn't realize it before, but when I was recording this part, it didn't record my voice. The peons have returned? That is good news indeed. Let us hope this doesn't happen again, for their sake. Work has resumed, High Chieftain. I'm pleased to see the Horde takes these issues seriously. We do, Commander. But I cannot take credit for this fortunate okay, turn of events. Okay, that's one. Uh, Aaron down, and two more to go. Speak if things you. are settled for the commander, you should check in on Nisha. I'm sure she could use your help. The sands swallow the wasteful. Okay, now we just gotta get to the coast. There you are. Am I glad to see you. And these Naga are relentless. Sanji was right to be worried. The Naga are planning an attack, but I've got a plan to stop them in their tracks. We'll need to work fast, though. Whatever's next, I'm ready. We're going to need special weapons to take down Tie Color and Azara. Good thing it looks like the Naga have plenty. We'll use their weapons against them. You and I know a thing or two about that. Grab an assortment. We'll need more than one. The area surrounding Thai Color Mazara is heavily guarded, so I'll need you to create a distraction. Take these explosives, plant them on the Naga's harpoon launchers. Once they've uh, been detonated, the blast should be more than enough to send the guards running. Thai Color Mazara is running the show. If we take her out, the remaining Naga will break rank, but getting to her won't be easy. She's protected by a magical barrier that's drawing power from power cells nearby. If we can destroy the source, we can destroy Nazara. Winds that want to stop the Naga. We need to take down their leader's shield. I'm counting on you. Okay, now, uh, some of it's lost. But right here, I was complaining about glitches. I've only had it happen in Classic before, but evidently, uh, I, you, when this glitch happens, I can't do anything with my items. Don't know why it does that, but at this point in time, I'd had to reset it twice. Okay, that's the second power cell. The, the original audio here was so distorted, I have no idea what I was actually saying. Now here, you know, I was... I was definitely counting out the the explosives. One and two. Three and four. Five and six, seven and eight. Okay. And then I realized, oh hey, I was actually going to be able to detonate the explosions myself. Found the last power cell. Volpera are stronger than we look. You got those weapons? Plenty to choose from. Perfect. You sure do excel at blowing things up. The high color Nazara can't hide behind her barrier now. Nazara's shield might be down, but that doesn't mean she's defenseless. There's a brute by her side that may cause trouble. I'll take a stab at him so you can take down the tide color. The horde slay that slimy sea witch and, and here we go. Almost done. Be so fun. Tide. Abs. Volpera are stronger than You do good work, Kitty Hawk. Always a pleasure. That should keep those Naga down. You can have the honor of telling Blagard Sanji that the threat to Zoldalar's coast has been contained. Leave. Time for us to get out of here. See you back Okey in Orgrimmar. Dokey.
You have my attention. The Naga threat has been contained. I'll trust your word on this, Kitty Hawk. Thank you for dealing with this matter swiftly. The Zandalari are fortunate to have such dependable allies. This was not my doing, Sonji. But I am grateful that the threat has been dealt with. All right. One more adventure left. Have you come to trade? It appears we're making good progress. Would you meet up with Mira? I want to make sh I want to be sure she's found her way to the Vintner and Suramore. We go where the sands take us. Thank the sands you're here. There's nothing quite right about this at all. What's wrong? I can help. Vintner Iltho has some serious staffing issues. Vintner Iltho oversees all Arcoin production for the Horde. He's used to making wine himself, but the Horde sent in help to speed up the process. It's had the opposite effect. We need to get to the bottom of this. How about you tour the vineyards and see how things are running? I have a few more questions for the Vintner. Uh, Micah, Broadhoof, Boss, Mita, and Nomi. Nomi? Nomi! Hey, don't die Yeah, I'll there. be back. Hold on. Boss Mita, her Thomas, and Kazit, her personal is assistant. I seen you around Look at Kazit working so hard. Look at the hang of it eventually. What were you tasked with? Eltho tells me to jump in the bat, so I tell Kazit to jump in the bat. Have Easiest job one. ever. Don't get lazy on me, Kazit. I keep pronouncing his name differently. <laughs> <laughs> you can both jump in the bat together. Greetings, Kitty Hawk. I've never made wine before, but it can't be too difficult, can it? What are you tasked with? Ilfo has put me in charge of the vintage. I decide what goes in the wine to make it palatable for the horde. Oh Greetings, no! My no, me! <laughs> Come on, wake up, buddy. Greetings, Master Kitty Hawk. I was just resting my eyes for a moment. How can I help you? What are you tasked with? Oh no, he's falling asleep again. I'm gathering ingredients for the wine, but it's a tiring job. I think I'll just take another quick break. Poor Nomi. We have a lot of problems. It sounds to me like we found our problem. Eltho isn't properly utilizing the help he's been given. Let's fix that. Assign new roles to the workers, once more suited to their strengths. If you need suggestions, I'm happy to help. Hey, Let's get to work! You'll be back, right? Oh, you're coming with me, okay. Yeah, yeah. You should be obtaining ingredients. Seems like a good fit. Goblins can acquire anything, at any time. You got it. I'll send Kizit out to find whatever ingredients you need. Side. High Mountain Stands. Okay, um, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but you should be stomping fruit. Wise choice! High Mountain Torrent are really strong. Nomi. me cooking. Know me, sweetie. You should be creating the recipe. Good call. Nomi is well known for his culinary creations. That sounds wonderful. Let's tell I the vendor about the changes we've made. Ink. Ashtorash Denil. I hope you're here to help. Things are in such a state, we'll never meet our quota without some serious changes. We made some adjustments to your production pipeline. I trust your judgment, Kitty Hawk. I am sure whatever changes you've enacted will produce the needed results. Dolly likes you. I can tell. Fittner Iltho seems pleased. You really got a knack for this, Kitty Hawk. As you might have noticed, Vintner Iltho is very particular about his winemaking process, but his ancient recipe was crafted with only the Nightborn in mind. We need something different to please the diverse palates of the Horde. Talk to Nomi and see what he has in mind to spice things up. At this point, Mira was safe. telling me don't alone. die out there. <laughs> and I thought for a second she was going to accompany me, but no, she wasn't coming with me. <laughs> Variety is the spice Good to of see life. you again, Kitty Hawk. I've already made improvements to the Vintner's recipe. Vintner Elfo's recipe doesn't need much improvement. Some unique ingredients and slight modifications to the winemaking process is all that's needed. 
I'm thinking adding fermented fire bloom should do the trick. And filter it through a special cloth made from silkwing fibers. There are plenty of silkwings roving the vineyard. I have no doubt that Boss Mita can acquire the flowers for a price. Don't forget to eat! Okay, that's all 20. Thanks, guys. Here they are. Well, spit it out. Oh! Hey, it's, um... You can buy cooking ingredients here, too! I didn't feel like buying them Don't all at once, so I bought them individually. I rare and delicate. This blossom has a distinctive aroma. Anyone Here's Naomi. Silkwing fibers. Fine thread that can be woven into durable cloth. Together, we will make a wine worthy of the horde. Excellent work, Kitty Hawk. This will do just the trick. I think we're making wine, Kitty Hawk. Let's see if the vintner approves of our vintage. Take a sample to Ilko and see what he thinks. It's a toy! Consumes a sip of Nomi's vintage, delivering a fire burst to the senses. Senses. Only usable within Zandalar, Kulturis, and Najjatar. A fragrant blend of fruit and fire. I still have a lot oh, to Oh wow, learn. you get it right from underneath Micah's hooves. Nomi's wine. A small sample of a special wine crafted exclusively for the Horde. Get Vintner Eltho, the sample of Nomi's wine. Hmm, a decent color, and it has. I have legs. no idea what that means. Oh, such a fragrant bouquet! Exquisite. I couldn't have done better myself. I can help. I hope he likes the wine. I think our work here is done. Let's head back to Orgrimmar. I'm sure Kira's expecting us. We really shouldn't make him wait. Now, of course, I had the glitch here again where I can't click on any of my objects. And I couldn't do so with the toy. But I did eventually get it in one of the cutscenes. As in one of the scenes I cut. So, right? um... I didn't realize that I wasn't able to accept the quest, so I'm reading it off again. <laughs> Meet you back in the big okay. Big. okay. May the Earth Mother smile. Kitty Hawk, upon I have done the Volpera a disservice. I am afraid my oversight may have cost the Horde a notable ally. Even in times of peace, the Horde is not without its problems. Although they can be overwhelming at times, our struggles should never stop us from remembering what it means to be a part of the Horde. We don't turn people away when times get tough. We band together and endure. For a moment, I forgot this. Burdened by the troubles facing our new allies, I hastily dismiss the Volpira. My only hope is that they still see as much value in the Horde as I see in them. My hero, I must apologize for so hastily dismissing you earlier. The Horde endures because we band together in times of adversity. Though I turned you away, you selflessly came to our aid, just as you did in Voldoom. Such is the true spirit of the Horde. If you still desire to join us, you would be most welcome within our ranks. It would be our honor, High Chieftain. Then it is decided. From this day forth, the Volpera of Voldoon are allies of the Yeah! <laughs> okay. What have you brought? Volpera within the Horde. A practical partnership, don't you agree? One that would not have been possible without your help. Thanks to you, Kitty Hawk. We now have a home beyond the dunes. They the don't eat alpacas here, right? I don't believe so. Okay. It, the glitch is happening again. I can't open my bags and look at my items. That was certainly an interesting quest line to get the Volpira. And I think it rather fits. 
But, um, I had a lot of fun, and I hope you guys did too. So, um, thank you for watching, and this is Brushfire Wind Dragon signing off. We Volpera have always been resourceful. No matter the adversity, we do what it takes to survive and keep our family strong. The Horde helped us when we needed it. And now, it's time to return the favor. A fair trade, if you ask me. A whole world of adventure is awaiting you out there. Explore it and become a hero. For the Volpera and for the Horde.